Hello friends, Real Joe Gang Therry's here and welcome back to another Doctor Who rumor slash leak video. But before we get into the future, do you a teeny tiny little favor and click that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 10k by the end of the year and we are edging ever so much closer to 5k subscribers and I'd really like to get there by the end of this month. So if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button to make sure you're up to date with all the latest Doctor Who news, rumors, leaks and everything in between. But with that said, let's get into the leak. These are some more rumors from William Who, who these were DM to, so thank you to William Who for making these public on Twitter. As always, same goes for the Reddit stuff or Twitter stuff. This is obviously just massive grain of salt territory for any of this. Like, it could completely be false. I've had a quick read through of this, and obviously, I'm not sure of certain bits, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Hey there, sorry to bother you, but I have some leaks that my friend randomly have gave to me recently. Take some of these with a grain of salt, because I'm not sure if he's pulling my leg. So there you go, take them with a grain of salt. The Master survived, but he won't be played by Sasha Dewan. He will in fact be played by John Bishop, Dan. He will use the chameleon arch to become a human spy on the Doctor and her companion Yaz. This probably hints on why he could be only in one series, which immediately is a very interesting idea. We've not really ever had an evil companion before. The closest I think we've probably ever gotten to something like that is Turlo. But after like, you know, his initial sort of introduction, that side of his character is like never expanded upon. So I would be down for an evil companion even if it was the master controlling it the whole time. And it'd be interesting to see John Bishop play someone evil as well. Two, Donna Noble will actually be returning, but she will be Donna after the Runaway Bride. Now, this is the one that I'm not sure about because we had that Radio Times article basically confirming that she wasn't on set. However, Radio Times and BBC have a very close working relationship. I'm pretty sure the BBC owned the Radio Times at one point, so it would be in their best interest to keep these things hidden through a news outlet, essentially. But I'm still very skeptical as to whether Donna could actually be coming back. Three, the master is actually the Timeless Child. Now, this is one that's been circulating for a while. I did a whole video on this topic. After Missy regenerates into the Dewan Master, he decides to go to Gallifrey and finds out about the lies of the Matrix and goes mad and goes out of his way to destroy Gallifrey with the moment. This is the only time we see Dewan, so it's a flashback scene. Four, River Song, but she went to the library, but after the Christmas special and meets the 13th. Again, another rumor that's sort of been circulating for a while. So this just kind of seems like it could just be someone putting all of the things that we've sort of discussed and sort of have been discussed for ages together and making one big thing out of it or it could be genuine like there's genuinely nowhere telling something i do think that is important to note is that this account is newly created so it could just be someone deciding to just write random things down for the sake of I don't know, attention. The regeneration scene will happen and it will happen mid-air. The series will end with Joe Mine unconscious on the ground. That's all I have. Okay, so there's a couple of things to dissect here. Number one, it'd be interesting if John Bishop turned out to be the master in another body and having an evil companion would be something quite interesting. Having like pull strings behind the scenes, perhaps he could even try and sabotage the Doctor and Yaz's relationship because we know that Yaz is incredibly clingy to the Doctor. So... John Bishop's character could play on that. However, I'd be very disappointed if we only ever see the Dewan Master in a flashback because to me, Dewan is like one of the shining parts of this era for me. So for him to just be in one flashback scene would be kind of disappointing. As I said as well, in regards to the Donna Noble returning thing, I'm really skeptical, mainly because there was that article saying that she wasn't but at the same time, they could be very easily lying. They could be told by the BBC, you know, just maybe, just maybe hush this up a little bit so people don't, people don't clock on to what we're doing. So yeah, I'm not confident in that one, but I'm not going to rule out the possibility given how much it's been reported. As for the Master being the Timeless Child, I've said before, that would be a much better outcome than the outcome we currently have. However, I would prefer it was neither because we wouldn't mess with the power dynamics of the pair, but it would be a much preferable outcome to what we have currently with the Doctor being the Timeless Child because it makes the Doctor way too important. That's something I've gone into depth on before. The interesting thing is it mentions Missy regenerating here, implying that this would make canon that the Dewan Master is the next along from Missy Michelle Gomez, which has kind of been confirmed already through annuals and stuff, but this would be on screen. I'm still a bit confused by what they mean by a uh, mid-series regeneration as well, especially as they say that the series ends with Joe Martin on the floor, so how can a regeneration last that long? I know they were pushing it a bit with Doctor Falls and Twice Upon a Time, but to have a regeneration last half a series, I 
don't really know how that could work. As for the River Song thing, again, it is kind of something that's been speculated for a while, so I've got the feeling that this person has just put a bunch of the stuff together. And I've said before how River really doesn't need to come back. She's one of those characters who has had her complete story, and I feel like it's Moffat's story to tell, and he's told it, so I don't really feel like there's a need to bring her back. I've also said before that I think she would be really weird in Chibnall era who. I thought this about Captain Jack as well, like having these overly like sexual characters in arguably what is the least sexual era of the show since Classic Who. That always reads as odd to me. So yeah, I'm not big on the idea of River coming back as some people are, but I can understand why people want her back. But let me know what you guys think about all these rumours. Comment down below your thoughts on anything we discussed and subscribe if you're new. Thank you for watching and I will see you later.